In this video, we're going to go through an example problem from my lab and use the graphing tool. So we're going to start by answering some questions about the graph. The graph that we're looking at is f of x equals negative 3x squared minus x to the third. So first we're going to identify the end behavior. Now I can start by putting my graph in the Desmos graphing calculator, or I can do the end behavior without the Desmos graphing calculator. Either way is fine. So my graph here is negative 3x squared minus x to the third. So here's my graph. I can see that it is rising on the left and falling on the right. And that should make sense because I have an odd degree and a negative leading coefficient. I'm going to choose answer choice B. And that's correct. Now we want to find the x-intercepts. So I'm going to use my graph on Desmos, and I can see that there's x-intercepts at 0 and at negative 3. We're going to use a comma to separate our answers. Now the question is, at which x-intercepts does the graph of the function cross the x-axis? So I can see that it's crossing at negative 3. I'm going to choose answer choice A and type negative 3 into the box. If it did not cross anywhere and they were all touching and turning around, I would choose answer choice B. The next question is at which x-intercepts does the graph of the function touch the x-axis and turn around? I can see that it does that at 0. So I'm going to choose answer choice A and enter zero into the box. If there were multiple places, I would separate them with a comma. Now we want to find the y-intercept. I can see that the y-intercept is at zero. The next question is about symmetry. Does the graph have y-axis symmetry, origin symmetry, or neither? So when I look at this graph, I can see that it is not symmetric around the y-axis. The y-axis is not a line of symmetry where the graph is a mere reflection on either side of it. You might think that it's symmetric about the origin, but that's not exactly right either, because if I were to take this side and rotate it 180 degrees, then I would have um, this would come up here and then it would go down. And that's not what the graph does. So you would need to have the two sides lining up exactly when you rotate it 180 degrees. And that's not the case. So this has neither type of symmetry. Finally, we're going to graph the function using the graphing tool. So we're going to click to enlarge graph and the tool that we're going to use is this one. It's called the four point cubic tool. Now this tool works best when you plot points from left to right. So I'm going to start by plotting this uh, point here at negative three, zero. I'm going to click it down. Now I'm gonna go back to my graph. This is another point that I can plot at negative two, negative four, and that's the bottom of this um, turning part of the graph here. So I'm gonna click on negative two, negative four. And remember, you can use the upper right corner that lists the coordinates of the points to help you. Now I know that I'm gonna have another point on my graph at zero, zero. And I need to plot one more point on my curve. So any point um, over here that is on the graph is something that I could use. So I'm going to go back to my graph and look for a nice point. Um, let's see. You can see that at 1, the graph is, if I could get it exactly right there, 1, negative 4 is another point. So I'm going to click on that and use again my upper right corner to help me put that down exactly. So 
to find a point that's not um, either an x-intercept or a y-intercept or the bottom of this, um, one is usually a good number to plug in because that'll usually give you a nice point to plot. So I'm going to click Save and check my answer. That's correct.